Your mama. Hey guys, welcome back to my little toy review channel. Uh, I'm gonna chalk this up to toys that I uh, didn't know I wanted to review. Uh, so here it is, Fortnite. I don't even collect Fortnite, I don't play Fortnite, but this guy looks amazing. Midas Rex, uh, comments, let me know what it is, uh, what it is in Fortnite. He looks amazing, and uh, I like the packaging actually. It's this like reduced plastic, small window uh, style. So yeah, good on Hasbro for doing this, kind of a little bit more uh, environmentally friendly. Uh, yeah, I don't know who this guy is. I don't play Fortnite, but he comes with some badass stuff, and he looks like a good guy, bad guy kind of anti-hero. So, uh, yeah, chalk it up to toys I didn't know I wanted to review. Uh, maybe this is the first one so, so far, but I don't want to make this a habit because, you know, I wanted focus, but I'm obviously not getting it, uh, at that. So, uh, let's crack him open and see what he looks like. All right, uh, this is the box open. Uh, I'm digging on this kind of more environmentally friendly packaging. I like it. Uh, it's just just cardboard, really, so you can recycle it um, easier than plastic. And uh, if you do grab this figure, though, I would be careful because his accessories are in these little paper wraps, and uh, they were just loose in there, so you don't want to lose that. Um, got some snaps here. Okay. Trusty knife. One more. Or two more. Get rid of that. Wow, this is a uh, pretty impressive looking. Although I, I would say the scale's a tiny bit different. You can see I have a cannonball right next to me. Yeah, the heads look the head looks a tiny bit smaller than the um, Marvel Legends, but that's no big deal. It's still pretty much in scale to Marvel Legends. Um, yeah, let's look at his accessories. All right, so Midas comes with this uh, kind of cyber punk, steampunk looking uh, double bladed sword or split blade sword. There. You got a cape, which fits his golden motif of Midas. Let's see, let's put that on his back here. Looks like a cape backpack combo. Switch it to the side like that. Nice. She has guns right there. I don't know if they pop out yet. We'll take a look at that. And this badass kind of uh, space marine looking helmet. <coughs> replacement head. Looks really cool. In fact, let's take a look at these guns. If they come out. Drum roll, please. Oh my god. They do come out. Took some labor. You got some revolvers. It's pretty nice looking. And trigger finger. I'm focusing on that. Focus. Well, it's as focused as I'm going to get. Sorry, guys. That is pretty badass. All right, let's take a look at this guy's articulation. So you got a slight butterfly on the shoulder. There's a diaphragm cut. 
doesn't look very centered. I have to twist it a little bit like that. Yeah, good good motion once you get it going. Um, obviously, this swivels all the way around. You got a bicep cut. Uh, double jointed elbow. But this part seems to be a little bit stuck right there. It does have a double jointed elbow. Let's see if this one works. Oh, these wires come out pretty easy, so be careful. Yeah, very good. Very good range of motion, but this won't stay in, as you can see. I might hack that later. Put put something a little bit more, maybe a metal piece. Yeah, I'm already thinking customization. Uh, ab crunch, kind of, because there's like two ball joints going on here. Ball diaphragm, ball torso. Um, yeah, this could be a new mold altogether. Uh, kicks up pretty good. I think it's a G.I. Joe mold, actually. That's what they're using. I'm not sure whose body, but it's very reminiscent of G.I. Joe. I like the waist, the loincloth thing going on there. Uh, you got a thigh cut. Oh, okay, that just pops out like that. Okay, I didn't have to. So these come off like that. You can put the gun back in. Double jointed knee. Very good. Got, wow, look at that. A low ankle cut or a low shin cut. Uh, foot. More range of motion going backwards. There's something like going on with the greaves right here. It's kind of blocking the forward motion, but you get a lot of back. And good ratcheting, and yeah, it's like a little pivot there too. And what else can I do? Oh yeah, let's replace the head real quick. Let's take a look. Oh, the neck has a little bit of a, kind of reminds me of the domino neck. There's a little bit of play on the the throat, and then this is on an independent barbell. Gonna fast forward a little bit. All right, give it up for Midas Rex, everyone. The figure I didn't know I wanted. This thing is pretty badass. Um, very impressive. Has all the bells and whistles. Um, good accessories. Good articulation. I love this paint and the detail of the suit. This has a lot going for it, guys, so pick it up if you see it. I think it's a, it's a winner. Um, the, I don't know if I got the head on completely on there. It feels like it is, but it's really hard. I'd, I'd be careful with that. Um, again, the head is a little bit smaller than your typical Marvel Legends, but it still, still fits the every, you know, it still fits the Hasbro kind of, uh, um, oops, it fits the Hasbro scale. That's what I'm trying to find. Uh, so yeah, this guy's awesome. He's kind of like a knight, cowboy, dystopian future, steampunk, <laughs> everything. It's like a good pop song. Has everything going for it. Uh, find it, grab it. I think it's great. Um, he's, he's a good, like, you know, just kind of shelf uh, ornament or you can have him be, is he a good guy or a bad guy? You don't know. If you, don't, if you don't have any bad guys, enough bad guys for your heroes to be uh, fighting, he's a, he's a good one to have as a, as a heavy or a henchman. Uh, yeah, very, very good figure. Thanks for joining me on this video. Uh, let me know what you think if you pick this guy up. I am thoroughly enjoying it. I think it's a, a great addition, even though I don't even collect Fortnite. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Please like and subscribe. We'll talk to you on the flip side. Stay out talkative.